morning guys. Here we are in Manhattan. Tonight is VFW night. And it's the premiere for me to see v uh, VFW. I almost said PFW. <laughs> VFW. What is that? Veterans of foreign wars. Good. Soldiers are good at dying. It's my first time seeing the movie. They had their premiere at Fantastic Fest over in Austin which is over in Texas, obviously, where I live. And now I'm coming to New York to see VFW for my first experience. Uh, hopefully my scene didn't get cut out. I'm hoping uh, my little fight sequence makes it on the big screen. But uh, I'm gonna meet up with Max tonight and his wife, Elise, and his sister, Ruby. And I'm excited about it. The uh, after party is gonna be hosted by Fangoria. It's a uh, horror uh, magazine publication that I have been uh, pretty familiar with my entire life and go back to the hotel, shave and get ready for tonight. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I'm going to try to get some good pictures for you guys and uh, hopefully it's a night to remember. I'm sure it will be. Check it out, grab a bite to eat. Here we go, Times Square. There we are. And uh, I forgot to mention that just yesterday I was in Costa Rica. Funny how you can just hop on a flight and be across this planet. But now we're in the Big Apple. We go from the wild jungles of Costa Rica to the concrete jungle in New York City. So here we are. And I'm just really excited for the movie tonight. I'm gonna cut your heart out. <laughs> Guys, here we are in Brooklyn, New York. It is October 24th. You know what day that is? That's right, it's the premiere for me. It's the premiere of VFW, and I will be seeing it for the first time on the big screen with Max Brailier. And I've just found out on the website that Stephen Lang will be there as well. So that is pretty cool. And I'm really excited to hear that and we also have Tom Williamson in attendance. He's one of the actors who's in VFW who I actually get to face off against. And it's gonna be at 6.45. I got here about an hour early and just didn't want to take any chances with the traffic or anything like that. So here we are, we're on Prospect Avenue and right behind me, as you can see, is the Nighthawk movie theater. And that's where we will be premiering VFW tonight. So I guess Max is on his way, I beat him here. And his wife Elise is coming and his sister Ruby. So we'll see them soon. All right guys, take care.
tickets. No tickets. No tickets. No tickets. No tickets. <laughs> Joe's great, nice. and I think Steve Moore's great, and I think Max is great as well. And I just want to take issue with what Max just said for a second. I'll talk for about two minutes, and, I'll, and I'll shut up. Um, uh, I'm gonna name drop for a second. One time, Robert Altman said to me, if it doesn't subvert, then it's not art. And he just said that as a blanket statement. That's the, that's the way he, that was his take on stuff. And the script that Max wrote was a beautifully rendered, perfect uh, example of a B-movie script. It was right in the genre where it was supposed to be. So we all, let's act like it. We set a perimeter, we make our stand. Was we really wanted to subvert the genre a little bit and we wanted and in so doing i felt what we're going to do is we're going to drag this b movie which is what it's supposed to be we're going to drag it into b plus or a minus territory <laughs> we can't get an a if we get an a we fail because then we've torpedoed the genre but if we can get it to b plus territory then then it's going to kind of be disarming to people and uh, I love, this is the second time I've watched the movie, which is two more times than many movies I've made that I've seen. Anybody else wanna come in my bar? Thanks again, Max, for all that you've done for me, buddy. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon. As long as I can remember, I'd be going to those bookstores and checking out the Fangoria magazines. I don't think I ever bought one, but I always just looked at it on the shelves. I don't think my mom would ever let me buy one. Maybe she, she probably would, but I just never, I just never did. All I cared about was looking at all the pictures of all the gory stuff. So. I feel like an asshole sitting out here talking to in front of the camera in front of everybody. I really have a hard time doing this and being taken seriously.